Wentz is making his first appearance against the Red Sox and this is his usage right here. No surprises you know with the four seam and the cutter but the change up to me the last outing that he faced uh, the Tampa Bay Rays that he was good into the fifth inning was very very good and I look for him to offset the right handed hitters in the Boston Red Sox lineup with that good change up down and away along with that cutter busting them in on their hands. Love to power a little possibility here with Rob Refsnyder who leads it off for the Red Sox popped up on the infield Torkelson drifting in foul territory for the first out of the day. Here is Rafi who had a mammoth game yesterday. Homer doubled scored a couple drove into and here he is feels like he's going to have another big game today drilled high and deep into right field but actually off the end of the bat coming in on it is Veerling and he is there to make the play you don't see many fly balls like that from Devers shallow right field and on one pitch he's gone two down here is Justin Turner who's been an on base machine Turner in the early going is seven for his first twenty five but that does not tell the whole story he's walked five times he's got an on base percentage of four thirty eight since we're going to ground ball up the middle grab by Wentz front of the mound he'll run a couple of steps toward Torkelson a little easy flip to get Turner that's a good start for Joey Wentz Tanner Houck one and oh got the win in his season debut against Baltimore. Akil Badu making his season debut after starring in Toledo in seven games. Very good in spring training for the most part. It was a numbers game more than anything, wasn't it, Dan? Yeah, and, you know, the competition is always good. You know, you, you like that competition. And I think it was just that, you know, late trade, too, with getting Zach McKinstry. Bouncer that's off the glove of the first baseman, Justin Turner. Badu is aboard to start the day. Just the way that Akil Badu and the Tigers wanted to start this ball game, getting yeah. him on base, put pressure on Tanner Hout right away. Yeah, I remember Turner, usually a third baseman all those years in L.A., so a little bit of adjustment for him. Riley Green standing in. 0-2 chopper, might be two. Flip to short one, on to first double play. 4-6-3, Red Sox turn it. Just like that, two gone, base is empty. Here is Javi Baez on that side. And that's a nice scoop there by Turner, feeding Hauk and a fine play between those two for out number three. So a door opens immediately for the Red Sox, although there are two away. They've got the bases loaded. And pitching coach is going to head to the mound to talk with Wentz, who has walked two in the frame. And yeah, this has been his issue, it was the issue against the Rays. You know, the Rays got into good hitters' counts. Like you said, they hit the ball hard. See if Connor Wong gets a slutter here. And walked him. And the Red Sox have the lead. Yoshida comes sprinting home, and it's 1 nothing as he's walked three here in the second inning. It's a great at bat there from Connor Wong, too. You know, getting a little excited, a little antsy in that first pitch that, you know, slutter down and in, swing and a miss. And then he, boun he bounces back by just taking good pitches. There, a couple of those were really close, but great job. Lines up a seven pitch at bat, top of the order, and Ref Snyder. Inside ball four, and the Red Sox have a second bases loaded walk, and they lead it two to nothing. It's been a struggle for Joey Wentz. Cruz through the first, lots of strike throwing, has had a hard time finding home plate here in the second. And here comes AJ Hinch. Yeah, I don't think he has a choice. Let me ask you a question: How many times in his life will Rafi Devers ever come to the plate with the bases loaded and a pitching change to bring a right-hander in to face him? Not many. Do it here, and that's what we'll get. Swing and a drive high and deep in the left field back on it Badu at the track at the wall he looks up and it is gone a grand slam for Rafi and the Red Sox lead it six to nothing. Well there it is can't get the curveball over let's sit fastball you blew by the first one and it just doesn't matter sometimes if Rafi's feeling it. There are not many hitters on planet Earth that can do that but luckily one of them hits second for the Red Sox on a line and a nice catch made by Nick Maton diving to his left but a lot of damage done Boston sends nine to the plate scores six times thanks to Devers grand slam the great approach continues that's the Red Sox fifth walk of the ball game Yoshida aboard for Adam Duvall Adam Duvall is got the second best batting average in all the baseball he leads the American League at 458. High fly ball left center field. This one's jacked. Green racing back. Forget about this one. It's gone. Duvall does it again. A two run homer. His fourth. He's already driven in 14 runs on the year. And the Red Sox lead it eight to nothing. Like the words of Raphael Devers when you're hot, you are hot. 
Adam Duvall is super hot. Nice swing from Kerry Carpenter, a bullet into right field. Tigers have runners at the corners for Nick Maton. Here we go, as we said. Could be a walk in there. You never know where to ignite this offense. That's a fair ball down the right field line. Green will score. Carpenter on his way to third. Maton hustling for two. He's in there with a head first slide. Clutch hit from Nick Maton to drive in the Tigers' first run of the day. And now the Tigers are clawing their way back. Now second and third. Torkelson would like to uh, join the party as well. Swinging a fly ball, right center field. On the run is Duvall. Going back is Verdugo, the right fielder. He'll make the catch right where the wall angles out in front of the warning track. And to score comes Carpenter. Sacrifice fly for Spencer Torkelson. Makes it an 8-2 game. Here comes Devers, who's had no such difficulty today. He launched one over the wall in left, one out in the seventh. Swing and a high fly ball into right field. This thing is way back, and Rafi has done it again. A titanic blast to right, his second homer of the game, and it's 9-2. Red Sox, have yourself a day. If I throw a pitch to Rafi Devers and he smiles and shakes his head, I would never throw it again. <laughs> Because that's what he did in the first curveball from Alexander. He just smiled, looked at him, and just shook his head like, okay. When you hit two bombs, you can do whatever you want. Adam Duvall having himself a day. He will lead it off as we go to the eighth. Going to torch that one and a fair ball down the line. That'll bounce back to Badu. He's going to race into second. The throw is behind the bag. Another extra base hit for Adam Duvall, who continues to crunch it. Yeah, he has every right to point at his biceps right now. He has got a ton of slugging going on right now. Wow. Add on to it. Here's Verdugo. And it's grounded up the middle into center field. That's a base hit. Duvall is going to come home to score. Du Verdugo delivers, and it's 10-2 Red Sox. And it's mainly been Devers and Duvall, but a little side order of this guy. Yeah, here's Connor Wong. That's headed toward the alley. That's going to drop down for a base hit off the bat of Connor Wong. And in to score Verdugo. Fourth hit of the inning here in the eighth. As the Red Sox add on, it's now 11 to 2. His second RBI today. Here now is Ref Snyder swinging a ground ball up the middle into center field. That's a base hit. Coming to third and being waved home is a Royal RBI hit for Ref Snyder. 12 to Red Sox. And so the Tigers will bring the second baseman for the first eight innings onto the mound. Zach McKinstry. First career pitching appearance. For the right hander and brings up Adam Duvall who's had another day with a two run homer and a double liner again <laughs> and that one's a fair ball on top of the line almost identical to his double last time up and he has three extra base hits here this afternoon all he does is slug 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 no matter what holy <laughs> Duvall just adding on Tapia. Has a couple infield hits this season for the Red Sox. Here is a ball that is absolutely crushed to right. <laughs> Rymel Tapia lifts off way out of here. A bomb off the position player. Tapia's first Red Sox home run makes it 14 to 2. Did you say it was a good spot for him, <laughs> I believe, when he came up to the plate. And Tapia doesn't miss this. And he's had a couple of infield singles so far, right? So this one probably felt good. I don't care who it's off of.